All right, everybody. This is the next video in our Fallout 4 to Desolate Star uh, series. Working on the game object moving and snapping and such, and where we left off, I was having problems getting the movable object to snap in place to the other objects, and I figured out what was wrong with my code. Um, I was basically trying to do it the hard way. But anyway, I had to Google some stuff and came up with this code. Where we left off before was position X, Y, and Z was was uh, getting uh, getting their values from the object that it collides with. Um, I set the X to minus the position of the object that it's colliding with and then creating a temporary vector 3 with the X, Y, and Z and then setting the game object's position to that value. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn off these debugs so it doesn't get a whole bunch of uh, crappy output and turn the game back on and we'll show you where I stand let you know as soon as the game starts okay there we go and build mode on game object and kaboom oh yeah that just happened so <laughs> now that we have that um, what we need to test also is if it can snap in other places. So we're gonna do this, build mode on, grab it, and see it's not working quite right with the zero zero block. Okay? Because it is at zero zero, it's a it's basically saying X zero minus zero. Yeah, so that's a problem. <laughs> um so we can't do minus its position. We need to do minus its width. So I don't even know if that's a thing. Can we do, can we grab, let's see. Find size of, size of game object. Renderer bounds dot size. Hell to the yes. Okay. We're going to have to do some experimenting because I don't want to spend this entire video Googling shit. So uh, let's do some experimenting and say. Um, Plus new line, and we're going to say size of form of bucket of water. Uh, right hit dot get. Uh, what is it? Maybe transform get component. Uh, let's go with the renderer dot oops dot bounds dot size. All right, experimentation round one. What the crap does this information get us? I completely left that off the screen. So all I added was this right here to our debug uh, to get at uh, the position which we got before. Then this is the size of, and then we're gonna try to get the size of that game object. And I have no idea how this is going to output, so we're just going to kind of wing this and see what happens. Build mode is on. Grab the box. And snap right build cube to build cube, blah, 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 at position 0, size of 1, 1, 1. Look at that. Interesting. So let's... Hmm... I'm thinking because I don't think that that's going to work because what if that cube is in a game object that's 111? But it's getting it from the renderer, so.
I'm thinking still. You know what, for right now, it'll work. Alright, so how can we split this up? Why do I feel that this is not the output that I'm looking for, to be honest? <clears throat> Oops. Let's do two. See what happens. Build mode on, grab, kabam. Okay. Two, one, one. So if I do minus size dot x maybe transform dot get component. Let's just do it and find out what happens. Dot bounds dot size dot x. I'm very sorry that this is scrolling off the screen for you guys. Will that throw an error? Will it blend? It blended. All right. Let's test it and see what happens. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Ooh. Interesting indeed. So, uh, build cube two is at negative two, but um, that's the total width. So if I divide that by two, uh, divide by two. Hopefully it'll order of operations and work just the way we want. Nope. Now it's too far in there. So it's almost like it needs to be at 1.5. Sure is. So that really is not the right. That's not going to work. Because even though this is two units apart, or two units wide, I should say. And let's see. Where's our. So it's showing that actually should have worked. I want to run the test again. Ugh. All right, it's snapping to negative one. Oh, right, the center is snapping to negative one, not the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, that makes sense. So it's snapping the center of our movable object to the right point, but we don't need that. We need it to snap to that point and then move um, another bit so it's gonna go um, 
half of the static object and then half of itself. Um, so we need to do um, minus this dot transform dot um, position dot x minus this dot transform dot position wait no too much transform dot get component render Let's try that. On, grab, bam. Perfect. Although, I'm not entirely sure about that. Negative 1.5. Yep, that is perfect. Excellent. Let's do another test and see what happens. Build mode, grab, see that's not working. Oh, that's right, because we don't have any code there, boom. So that is correct. So let's uh, set this. Um. Oops, negative uh, 0.5. <clears throat> oh, come on, Unity. Negative 0.5. Okay, so this is at two units. But it is super off for some reason. And I'll say this is at two units, and it's going to be at one. It's at 1.5. So this is confusing. That is two units. This is at x2. And it's not the same. It's like a half of a unit off. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. But for testing purposes, let's just do this. <clears throat> we'll worry about that. Worry about that battle later. Okay. I'm gonna make another test here real quick, and then we'll copy some code and then we'll do some more tests. Going into build mode, move. That uh, is firing the collider correctly, but we don't have any code there, right? So this should work just fine, which it does. Do one more test, just to make sure. Going into build mode, yep, and grab, and snappers. Awesome. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> this is where the code is gonna look so ugly. And every single one of you out there that knows the better way to do this should absolutely send me a message on YouTube and say, dude, seriously, your code looks like junk. <laughs> and I know it. <laughs> so one thing to keep in mind when we are moving all of this stuff around is that we're pretty much going to only be copying and pasting this part right here. But we're going to have to make some changes to this section right here. Um... Could do it in a function, but anyway, um, we're just gonna copy this code. And we're gonna have to change it for right, left, top, bottom, front, back, etc., etc., etc. Right. So let's go ahead and get to work on this. <clears throat> and we're actually gonna do. You know what? Let's do bottom and let's do the bottom ray here. And let's see. X Let's 
Let's see if we're going. If we're gonna be moving an object and we want it to collide just on the top, we don't want the X or the Z. The X and Z should be fine, and then the Y is what we will have to edit. So this is actually going to be plus, and we're actually working with what bottom, huh, bottom hit. Okay, and, yep. Okay. So then we're going to take all of this. And we're going to say plus and gonna wipe this out because we want to keep the X and the Z uh, for those in the north and outside the United States. Basically, we want to keep the X and the Z uh, position in the uh, in the universe or whatever. Um, but we want to use the Y to manipulate this object. Yeah, I know I'm missing something somewhere. Where am I missing it? Come on, where are you? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, seriously, what am I missing? I can't think. Give it to me. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh. And you go down to the next air. All right. Um, oh, right, because we we changed the we turned off the debug. That was my bad. All the way. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of. We're actually gonna comment out all of this. All of these debugs. Um, we don't necessarily need all this output anymore because we have done extensive testing to kind of, uh, well, not kind of, to determine where we are, what we're moving, etc., etc., etc. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit here. All right, let's try that. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Build mode. On. Grab. Ooh, snap a Rooney. So that snapped to the right before I could actually get it to try to snap to the bottom. So let's try this again. There. And. Interesting. Okay. So I've got some bug in my code. Oh, there it is. Silly math. Build. On. Go. And... Oh, goodness. It's still doing it. It's moving it to the X. Why is it doing that? Bottom hit, transfer, go. Okay. Maybe we should turn this one off. Or back on, rather. Snap bottom cube, there it is. So it is actually firing right, but let's uh, borrow our debug from our code up here. Alright. Alrighty, 
what am I doing wrong here? Okay. So it's moving on the X axis still as soon as it hits that trigger. So we know that it's doing that because of our debug here. And we'll turn on this one also just to see if it is firing. Sure it is. I think the snap right is actually firing after the snap bottom, so we don't need it to um, Let me try setting temp. Temp equals null. Okay. That shouldn't affect this vector three temp though. All right, so let's read this out. So the exposition of this game object equals the bottom hit dot transform dot position dot x which we can get here from that let's check our ray transform dot position vector 3 down okay So that is right. Okay. Bottom hit, transform, get component, bound, size, dot y. Um, let's go back over here. Snap bottom, build cube two. I guess I can't do that, can I? Fine. <clears throat> Crap. Okay. And kachunk. All right. So it hits this and then fires the right one for some reason. So you need to debug. It snaps to build cube one, which is the bottom one, or I'm sorry, zero, which is the bottom one there. It's the size of two, so it is getting the size, it's getting the position, it's doing everything right. Oh. I'll bet that's why it's doing it. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. It doesn't really it doesn't really matter um, both both styles of coding are the exact same um, just want to keep the format that I had on that line okay so that sort of worked
but it's still moving on the X axis for some reason. Oh, because it's a two block. Ugh. See, this is a problem. So it being a two block, there is only one uh, ray cast coming from it. So the problem is we need to move it on the X All right, so we have a design problem. It's something to think about here. It's because the block is too wide, we could design this cube to say if, if whatever it collides with is too wide, or more than one wide, move it along the X or Z axis accordingly. I think that's going to be a little bit outside the scope of this particular time frame, though. I think I'll have to do that for Desolate Star, but I don't think I'll have to do that necessarily for this particular campaign. And considering it's 6.30 in the morning and I'm already at 30 minutes, I don't think I'm going to. So, what we're going to do for now, just to get everything working and moving correctly, we're gonna test this and see what happens. Because we still have one more mechanic to build. Perfect. Okay. Couple more tests. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to move this down and see if it will snap from the bottom. So I'll have to kind of move the camera. <clears throat> oh wait, we haven't coded that yet, have we? Dirt. And I'll have to move my player camera around a little bit also. Actually, what we can do we're going to do this. Uh, zero, And we'll have to test front and back also. Um, so let's go ahead and since we know that this code works, let's test uh, top. Uh, okay, so if it's triggering the top, then we need to move it down and keep the X and Z. So we're going to do um, minus, minus, and this should work just fine. Except we just need to get the right, <laughs> the right object here. Ooh, wait. Yeah. Top hit, 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 hit. Okay. All right, let's try that and see what happens. Watch it explode. Now keep in mind, we haven't built in any rotation mechanics either. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's outside the bounds. Damn it. What the hell? Okay. Now 
now I've broken it again. So three. Negative two. EQ is not firing again. All right, what did we break? So all we did was add this crap right here. Somehow I deleted my AND key there, but I don't think I'm going to need that. <clears throat> Fill modes on. Still can't move anything. What is going on? Alright, this movie's at, or I'm sorry, this episode is at 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. Uh, I may sleep for a couple hours and then finish this up. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and we will get all of this finished up, I promise. <laughs> thank you for watching.